Miss Holloway, this home was built with you in mind. Oh, you know, as I walked toward it, it was like magic. Suddenly, your name appeared on the mailbox. No, 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 of course not. Their name is in Holloway, too. I, I just imagined it. Look, just do yourself a favor and take a look at this place. Yeah, would you hold on a moment, please? McElhaney, Jake. Yeah, look, no way. It's got to be in a much better neighborhood. Hey, psst, Atkinson, uh, get me and Nick Butler on the phone. Get huh? him yourself. I'm not your secretary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll never make it through escrow. Yeah, Miss Holloway. Hello. Hello. Miss Holloway, believe me, you'll never make a better deal. Right. My word of honor. No, I, I promise I won't show the home to anyone else this time. No. Scout's honor. Right. Now, you just call me back and let me know when you want to see it. Okay? Bye-bye. Yeah. What are you doing in my office? I've always had a soft spot for guys on the way out. Old man Potter's after your head. Creep! I'm a member of the Three Million Dollar Club. I was salesman of the month, April and May. Jake, that was three years ago. I don't know. I can't help it if the bottom fell out of the market. Well, that's great. But you've only got a week. to Doppler Way. Hey, your pal. There goes Jake McElhaney. He thinks he's a charming sort of a guy. But charm can sometimes fool the charmer. And that's where the danger lies. Excuse me, I'm sorry if I'm late, but the roads up here are awful tricky. You uh, have to be a, a damn Christopher Columbus. Uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Packard, isn't it? Hi, uh, John McElhaney from Potter Realty, but uh, everybody calls me Jake. Y yeah, you remember you, you phoned me earlier, said you were interested in selling? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the jungle you have there. You should have a sign, beware of bush. <laughs> but it's, it's nice, though. It's, uh, it's a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, Look, if I've come at a bad time, uh, I mean, I've got a batch of other properties to see today. I am a very busy man. Thank you. Hey, you know, I like this. You got the flowers and the veggies. Yeah, it's a, it's a good selling point. Thanks. I like the mounds, too. It gives it all a sense of landscaping. Uh, We're going to the house through the front, Mr. McElhaney, John. That'll be terrific. Thank you. Hey, that is great. That's perfect there. You know, a good bargaining point. We can throw it in if the negotiations get a little rough. Hey, Jake, Mackle, Penny's always thinking. 
I suppose you want to see the rest of the house? That would be terrific. It's busted. I hope he can squeeze in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, you've got to be lean and hard to stay on top. <laughs> Just a few nails, a hammer, no problem. God, this, this is great. What a great room. It's perfect for entertaining. I gotta wash off some of this sweat. You just make yourself right at home, Mr. McElhaney. John, they call me Jake from Potter Realty. Take your time. <sighs> You're the man from the real estate office. Yeah, McElhaney, John from Potter Realty. <laughs> Everybody calls me Jake. I'm glad to see you've made yourself at home. Right. Would you care for some tea croissant? Fantastic, thank you. Oh, will you just go ahead and keep on taking notes. Always on top of it. That's McElhaney from Potter Realty. How'd you like a nice cold beer? What happened to the tea? You'd rather have tea? No, no, no. no. Cold beer is fine, thank you. cool beer. I see you and my sister Frances have already met. I'm Priscilla. I'm the one who called you earlier today about the house. <laughs> Stereo blondes. This is going to be delightful. What's that supposed to mean? Me? Uh, nothing, nothing. I, I was just commenting on the, uh, the very delightful coffee table. It's very uh, creative. We like it. Daddy used it to saw people in half. Say what? Daddy was a great, great magician. Oh, that accounts for it, then. You know, the very uh, creative usage uh, is, uh, this is, uh... Tea tea. Oh, I thought it was. I couldn't be too sure. It looks more like an art object uh, nailed in here. Will this come with the house? <laughs> Works, too. Nice uh, conversational piece. You know, at Potter Realty, we sell homes instead of houses. When Daddy died, he didn't have the heart to take it out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the great Tortini will perform the incredible Headless Man. Lay down your head, the great Tortini. Ta! Next, I take the head out of the basket and hold it up to the audience. And then, the great Tortini stands up. He walks, he talks. What an ovation. It's always nice to know the history of a home. Look, why don't I take a quick run through and you can tell me what uh, your needs are. I'd like a small house with a yard mm -hmm. and a nice kitchen. I can't wait to finally have a kitchen in my very own. And I want a place where I can finally do what I want with who I want. You know, this is a nice-sized room. It's whom, dear? How's the closet space? <laughs> oh, yeah, lots of room here. <laughs> oh, what a great kitchen. I mean, look at this stove. What, is this the pantry? Don't touch it! It's just some of Daddy's junk. We like to keep it locked. Right. Oh, oh this is perfect. Large. Well, it's a little small for the two of us. My sister and I are devoted to each other, but we do have our little conflict. It's only natural. We divided the house as best we could. The old man left it to both of us. Daddy was strict, Francis, but Daddy was always fair. See, when we were small, someone sent us this doll for both of us. And we both wanted it. But unfortunately, there was just one doll. We kept trying to take it away from each other. 
Till one day Daddy solved the problem. Well, that must have been a very interesting lesson for the both of you. It taught you how to share. No, McElhaney. We learn not to share. We have to divide. Oh, flowers, vegetables, zucchini. Now I get it. Believe me, you have come to the right man. I've got lots of terrific listings, and I'll get on top of it right away. So, how soon do you think you can sell our place? How soon can you pack? <laughs> <sighs> Listen, uh, you can count on me. You know something? I think I made the right decision when I called you. You'll be hearing from me soon. Touch Macalaney, John. Hmm. You know I will. See how you're doing. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, of course not. And I think I can say without any self-modesty that I have found your dream home. I was just about to phone you. It is uh, Priscilla, isn't it? Yes. Not many people are able to tell us apart. Well, I don't look at the face, only in the heart. In there, we're all different. So how about you and I taking a look at this place, huh? This way. Hey, Jake. That's one of my staff members who's on her way out. Why don't you just wait here a second? Uh, I'll take the call, and then it's uh, off we go. Whatever you say. Mm. Hello. Well, hello, Francis. Well, of course I knew it was you. Jake McElhaney doesn't listen to the voice, only the heart. Look, uh, it's a little after four now. Uh, why don't you meet me at 722 Crescent at about six? Okay? Oh, and Francis, I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Bye. Look at this, huh? Isn't this incredible? Now, this shade will keep you cool in the summer and toasty in the winter, and you are just going to love the inside. I love it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. After you. Mm -hmm. This way. You know, rooms always seem smaller when they're empty. I never realized that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a scientific fact. Uh, they've done a number of studies on it. It's a, sort of an optical illusion. Uh, you can take my word on that one. I feel so safe in your hands. You know so much about houses. And people, you see, I have to, because I'm in the people business. Believe me, this home was built with you in mind. Hardwood floors. Does it work? Does what work? <laughs> of course it works. Can you just imagine it? Sitting right here by the fire. Rainy Sunday afternoon. Marshmallows. <laughs> Warm cognac. It'd be heavenly with just the right person. You know, you're right. There is a magic here. You've, you've got to buy it. Mm -hmm. It would be perfect. 
But no. <clears throat> I don't even dare to think of it. I know how fond Francis is of you. Francis? How can we think of her while we're in our dream home? Listen, you know, I can almost hear that rain beating down now. And the warm glow of the fire on our bodies. Yes, and uh, with a substantial down payment, uh, easy financing can be arranged. It's true. I can already taste the warm cognac. And the marshmallows. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about Priscilla. I'll, uh, I'll handle her. After all, I'm more the, the swinging type. Right. You know, we're gonna see the furnished model, you know. It was built with you in mind. Hot tubs, jacuzzi, it's called Mondo Condo, the condo that never sleeps. I think it's open. Now, just take a look at this kitchen. It's, uh, it's got a microwave, finger touch control. It's automatic, carburetor, everything the modern woman would want. Who cares? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, you're a liberated woman. You, you don't have to make a meal, just uh, make a reservation. <laughs> just wait till you get a look at this fireplace. Francis. 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 Where are you? Francis. Francis. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I love you, Mr. McAlee. How did everything go with the Packard? Yes, there are certainly two lovely ladies. Oh, that, well, that, that's great. No, no, I'm glad everything turned out all right for you. Fantastic. No, I'll, uh, I'll get on the paperwork right away. Great. Priscilla, you sweet thing. Tell me now, what is new and good? Like I said, Francis refuses to sell the house. Yeah, I, I know, but why? Jake, look, the house is half hers, and if she refuses to sell, there's really nothing to discuss. Look, how, how do you feel about this? Where is she? I've got to talk to her. She's in the kitchen making a sandwich. I'll take care of this. Look, Francis, whatever the problem is, we can work it out. If you don't like the condo, I'll find you another. Sorry, cutie pie, but we can't let you come between us anymore. I mean, we both like you, but we're not going to share you. Then you know. Well, of course we do, Jake. We're sisters. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't still sell the house. I'm afraid that little fantasy of ours is just going to have to wait a little longer. Look, there are always alternatives in real estate. I'm sorry, Jake. 
No matter what you come up with, it's just going to lead us back to the same thing. Yes, we both want you. Well, then that's the solution. You can both have me. Look, there's more than enough Jake Maplehaney to go around. We were hoping you'd see it that way. Watch the birdies. <laughs> Smile. I think you're going to like this picture. Planting, Francis. Or oh, lettuce, radishes, and perhaps some zucchini. <laughs> Jake McElhaney would have done anything for a sale. Now he's a permanent fixture in the garden. I guess if the Packard sisters ever do sell, he'd go with the house. 